Okay, so we're going to do a full moon reading. Uh, the full moon will be on Saturday the 31st. I don't have all the specific times and stuff, but um, you can check that uh, for your local area. But I wanted to mention that it is supposedly a uh, full blue moon. It's also called the sap moon or the Pascal moon and Pascal is for Passover um, it also sounds like pescado like fish Pisces Jesus oh, just you know just saying <laughs> so we're gonna do just a full-blown Oracle reading I uh, feel yeah I'm feeling it so Let's get in and yeah, was that, was there anything else I wanted to share about that moon? Um, no, I think that's it. All right. So let me just click this off. Okay. Let's do the reading now. up here okay we're just we got the under the dresser view happening today <laughs> so um there we go that's that let me get it centered here okay now Get down on the floor there a little bit, yo. What do I want? I want the drums in there. The little sachet hanging on my dresser. <laughs> okay. So, let, yeah, let's do it. Um, we got the dragons here, the butterflies, the crystals, the trees, the unicorns, the angels, the ancients, the fairies. Yeah, so let's see. Let's do... Always do the trees first. Let me see. It's kind of glary in here now. Okay, there we go. I'm not complaining. It's beautiful sunlight. All right. Wisdom of the trees. Okay, what tree oracle wants to share its message? Banyan, perhaps. Let's see if that comes out. Oh, what, what do we got? Silver birch. Ooh, silver. The soul. The moon. Silver. Hello. Are we going good here? Okay, we're all right. <laughs> Camphor on the top, so that's good, okay. Using plants as medicine, just, you know, healing medicine. Black elder. <laughs> Isn't that true? <laughs> oh, the trees know. Like chlorophyll, like green. Okay. Look how, yeah, very silvery uh, green there. little bit of gold in the archways and I see uh, spirals in this like hazy kind of misty holy moly there's a bee on the um, rock there let me turn the light on so holy smokes this is like John the Baptist did I just burn the car okay so where'd it go right here and there's all these little spirals that are really hard to see like in the smoke there so right above my finger now that's a rune okay um 
It'll probably come up in the meaning in here, so. And that, okay, the B is the 13, which is the four, the earth, it's it's uh, John the Baptist. It's the two mountains, the ebb, the water that flows between. It's the breast, the buttocks, the, okay. <laughs> the between, the B. <laughs> Silver and birch, <laughs> birth. Oh my. Okay. Silver birch. Is it in this section? Here we go. Cleansing. It's called Batula Pendula. <laughs> I want to say Medula Oblongata. Sling blade. Okay, reference. <laughs> kitchen mustard anyway i like the way you talk i like the way you talk okay we're going to the meaning here silver birch deva message so the silver birch deva brings you this message brings us this message i am the mother of the forest oh i was just talking about the mother plant my trunk and branches look delicate but i am strong because i bend with the wind that's surrendering to your divine guidance if you work with me I will teach you how to cleanse your body and your spirit to find peace and complete health I think your spirit is pure your soul is the thing and silver okay soul I, I say spirit is pure and the soul is the thing that holds all the memory all the past lives the pains the joys the, okay um, but we get it okay we're not arguing semantics we're just saying just so we're not, um, so that I'm consistent, okay, with what I'm sharing. So that there's consistency with the sharing. <laughs> the birch has many fascinating mythological associations. It is connected with Freya, the lady of the forest. This is Mother Mary. Freya is Mother Mary. Ah, yes. Many plants, um, I think it was Scandinavia. Yeah, it used to bear her name. Birch, bear. Um... And, uh, and then it changed to Mary. Okay, more Mary, Mar, Mer, Mary. Um, miracle, mirror. So, okay, Freya, the lady of the forest. In both Norse and Germanic traditions, and the tree is even called the lady of the forest in Russian folklore. The birch is also connected with the Germanic rune Burkana. Okay, I knew it would it would mention it. It, does, it always does. Like you see a bumblebee, they'll mention it in the book. I love this. Did I show it? Yeah, this is a good one. A lot of these decks I just got on Walmart online. I I, I don't I try not to as much as possible now. Um, just. Anyway, I just had some bad customer service with them with the pool incident, and yeah. But I did get some cards from them since then. It's, I mean, um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I try to go more locally, or I'm going to do Etsy more, just more working individually with the um, creators or, you know, small shop owners or whatever just bringing it more local okay so this is on page 40 which reduces to four which was funny because <laughs> i had to change my i couldn't remember my paypal password so i changed it which is good it's good to change them a lot but um because i don't write things down and i don't like to memorize things so so anyway you get like a six digit number and it end so it was three digits whatever it was and then it ended in four 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 <laughs> so so here's another four, okay, of the earth. Okay, that 13, that B is the 13, which is the four of the earth. Mary Magdalene, we're Malkuth right now, Aries season, okay. So Burkana, which represents motherhood. Hello, Burk, Bear, Brown, Burk, Ana, Anu, Nu, okay. Birthing a new God, a new knowing. Ah, Na, Na, Nyana, knowing, no, no, Gnosis, um, knowing, uh, Nyana, G-N-A-N-A, -A, which is kind of like Kana. Nyana is the, is a type of mo mowing. Ah, a, ty <gasps> a type of mowing. Yeah, cut the grass. Um, it's a type of, um, yoga. 
and jnana is the like the knowing yoga it's more of like the mental of the mind so mastering your thoughts and really everything that comes in goes through your amygdala your mo your emotional center first um but so if you c can master your emotions that what comes in that which comes in can process to the upper regions of the brain where you can um make or make better use of the information really um oh the tall trunk of the birch plays a central role in siberian shamanism i was just looking at a shaman site and it was um that just basically talked about a, a lot of different medicinal shamanic plants so um thought that was interesting <clears throat> Uh, Siberian shaman with the okay so the tall trunk of the birch plays a central role in Siberian shamanism with the shaman climbing to the top of a birch pole while his spirit travels to the world tree wow world tree capital W capital T in Russian and Scandinavian saunas, people beat their bodies with birch twigs to increase their circulation. Yeah. I think they might also lay birch branches over. That could be, uh, that could be bay leaves or some, something else, eucalyptus, but I think birch maybe. Camphor, but whatever, all different kinds of, just, um, but there was one in particular that they would lay the branches to um, with the leaves and everything over you while you lay down to uh, help to in induce uh, sweating. So it could have been birch. But anyway, um, something recently I came across. So very interesting. Okay, the sweating, the sauna, okay, coming up. And of course, where it's really cold, they're not going to do a lot of sweating naturally. But it's very important to the body to sweat. Okay, it's a good way to get out toxins. It's one of the main channels. So, um, so it makes sense that they, okay, sauna is a big thing there. And Ixchel, oh yes, the rainbow jaguar, the goddess, uh, oh, she's also referred to as, um, sh she was the goddess of the uh, the sweat bath or sauna as well. So interesting because she's been coming in. So very interesting. Okay, birth. So here's Ixchel energy. I'm really feeling rainbow jaguar Ixchel, the goddess O or Ixchel. Um, she was the mother of. Okay, um, she was the mother goddess or the uh, goddess of childbirth. Okay. Uh, motherhood and childbirth pregnancy and birthing and also medicinals okay plant medicine so i mean <laughs> oh and transition okay birth and death that was coming in so this is very much very very much ixchel energy with the silver birch thank you goddesses gods and goddesses so let's just even though those are kind of deep i always have to honor the trees first um whenever they're included in the oracle reading so <clears throat> or a reading so yeah all right let's bring in some butterfly medicine after the tree medicine let's bring in some insect medicine transformative okay and cleansing so sweating okay that's a big um kind of as you surrender your body to allowing it to sweat and be in this process do it okay it's like okay body you're cool you're doing your little process over here okay cool i'm gonna go surrender my uh soul to spirit right now and um <laughs> right it's like climbing up that birch tree and then your spirit goes up to be with god and your body like chills out right <clears throat> all right so let's 
Silver birch. Oh, and look, okay, the archway. I just, the, a lot of these cards are like, because trees are very much connected to the earth and Mother Mary, K. Freya. Um, it's the same essence, the same energy. It's just different. It's just like the tribes of Israel. The, the, the Hebrews would have different names for the same types of people. Okay, say, say the giants would come through. Okay, so one tribe, and they're not, maybe not necessarily communicating with the other. So they come up with their own names for certain things, okay? And so they're referring to the same group of giants or whatever, but some call them the Raphaim or the this or the that. Okay, just depending on what tribe they pass by, okay? <laughs> so Freya is Mother Mary, um... Same goddess, same divine feminine principle. Self-care bent in my hand. Okay, so this is very much about the body, sweating, cleansing, purifying, better eating, um, just moving your body around. When you eat better, the things inside your body move around better. Okay, so you're assisting the flow within your body. Oh, butterfly. One butterfly message, please. Oh, I saw one with two on there. Aww. Oh. Don't you make me shuffle forever. <laughs> Just kidding. We're being patient. Yes, the higher virtues of mother. Patience. Just virtue, you know. Being patient, being kind, being generous, being compassionate, being um, forgiving, being accepting, uh, which means tolerant, not uh, not engaging in someone's lower vibrational behavior or whatever. Okay, what we got here. Oh, what did I just say? Forgiveness and look how beautiful. <gasps> look at those colors. Oh my, my I think that's a moth. Yeah, that's definitely a moth. Look at those antennas too, they're so cool. Those deep womb eyes like mother, mother, okay. Um, I don't know if it's a compound eye, I'm assuming it probably is, but and like stripes on the antenna. Look at the aqua. And like copper reminds me of um, uh, Atlantis Lemuria color. Lemuria mother. Okay, it's a moth, not a butterfly. That is definitely a moth. You can see all the the microns. I think they're called. Um, reflect a lot of light. Forgiveness. Yes, a high vibration of that purple. Okay, and the opposite color on the color wheel is gold. And that aqua is just like the oneness, the water, the sky. It's all one. Okay. So that's that high vibe. When we when we get to those higher virtues, that higher learning, when we learn those lessons, forgiveness, patience, this is, it includes with this. It starts with the self. You receive it from God, and you you're like, wow, I'm allowed to receive this love and forgiveness, and God is patient and tolerant with me, and and keeps helping me, teaching me the lessons, even though, you know, um, they're painful, but he. <laughs> God's still there. Mother and Father God are still there always. So this is really, I feel, yeah, mother's love, okay? It's, there was a lot of lessons with Father and the smiting and, right? Thank you, Gabriel. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it starts with the self. Um, I think we forget that. Like, we just think things with self are automatic. So we need to have this, this conscious awareness of self. Are we taking care of self? Our thoughts, our body, okay, are, are they healthy? Are they in alignment with this higher vibration, these higher virtues that we're calling in now that Mother Mary is helping us with, assisting us, guiding us, nurturing us? with these virtues um 
Just because Mother's coming in so much, I'm going to pull a dragon card next. Wow. Just already right off the bat. Mother, moon, I'm, that's why I was feeling so like big, big mama moon, grandmother, just like all the grandmothers, mothers, oh, a lot of mama, <laughs> whole lot of mama. <laughs> A lot of shaking and quaking going on. Yeah, a whole lot of mama. What is this? Holy moly! Gabriel! That's a pure white dragon from Orion. That's a diamond. Oh, okay. It's calm. Transform your ascension knowledge into pure wisdom. So I was saying that masculine, all the lessons, the left brain, the. Okay. Now, when we have. The left and right working together, balanced, healed. We can apply the knowledge with wisdom. Now this is, the movement of knowledge is the divine feminine. That's the wisdom. So it's like the seeking out of it. So the seeking the knowledge. So you're going out, you're seeking. Okay, then it's the absorption of it. Um, and then knowing it's within you. So now you express it to the world. So the thing, the information is him, okay, but the guiding, the receiving, the seeking, and out, the movement, all the movement involved with it is the divine feminine. That's the wisdom. So ascension knowledge, that's the masculine, okay, transforms your ascension knowledge into pure wisdom. So now handing it over to mother to let mother lead the way, okay, it's not, you're not letting go of anything. The, the left brain is still the logic and it is that logic okay sensibility but the movement and application and the impl implementation of it is the wisdom the feminine so process what you know act with truth and honesty let your wings of light grow and expand Look at those rays coming out of the, the wings there. Orion. Hello, that has a Scorpio connection. We have Earth and Air Dragon on the bottom. Very much um, masculine and feminine. Okay. Meeting together at the horizon there with the Earth and the Air meet. And then we have Air and Fire. Expands your creative energies. Harness your creativity, excitement, and enthusiasm. Communicate your passion. Yeah, see that eruptive fire? And it also looks like little sperm, okay, the red. So it's expressing your spirit. That's what sperm is, the sermon, the sperm, and the expressive, the spirit, the experience. And they both have very much the similar colored light light blue kind of aqua colored wings the earth and air dragon represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth stay balanced ground your visions manifest your hopes and dreams yep we're right here at malkuth so air and earth this is very much air is michael and tifra okay and earth is malkuth okay so this is where we are lined up with Michael protecting while we manifest. Okay, and Aries, uh, Uriel, Ariel, and Rainbow Aurora, Archangel Ariel, Uriel, Uturiel, <laughs> and um, Archaea, his twin flame, his Archaea, Lady, um, Lady Grace. Okay, so that's beautiful. That, so. Let's just read quickly the Orion one. The pure white dragon from Orion. Pure white dragon from Orion. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a 
Okay, so I opened up to aquamarine, and that's why I'm saying that color standing out. That's the Neptune. Um, that's the seventh dimensional. I think it's yeah, seventh. Okay. So on a, page 84 and 85, which was, which is 12 and 13, divine masculine, divine feminine, 12 and 13, three and four, Trinity, Earth. Orion is the planet of wisdom, the ability to take the knowledge we obtain through our left brain and use it joyfully for the highest good of all. Beings from many star systems take their understanding to Orion to ask how to use it with wisdom. At the, all the beings, excuse me, all the beings from Orion, including the seventh dimensional pure white dragons, carry a special light in their soul. Soul, silver. The color white indicates purity, purifying the body, clarity, and advanced enlightenment. Archangel Gabriel, the unicorns, and the great white brotherhood all hold this incredible level of purity. And the brotherhood is just the, the brown mother. Brother is brown mother. So everything reduces to mother. I'll share, I'll share those diagrams. We'll get to that. Um, we'll get there. We're already there. It's just, you know, flowing through the 3D. <laughs> you know, the hamster wheel. Source light is diamond white. Yes. Um, this is the source light that comes out of mother. Okay. It's like black, white, black. It has to go like that. Like the stripes on, on the... So it starts out as a black womb, opens up, the light comes out, but that contains the divine mother. Then the light has to come into black form, into matter, in the word, okay? So see how it goes black, white, black, white? Okay, it's one, two, one, two, one, two. That's the diamond consciousness. You can do it like a, a daisy chain, diamond links. You can do it in stripes. However, um, you depict it, it's, it's, it's just the balance of Oh, what I just got was duality is really stripes, layers, stripes. It's not just one, two. It goes one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Okie dokie. As white holds the vibration of truth, when the pure white dragon from Orion, sho from Orion shower it onto us, it lights up our own impeccable honor and brilliance. They are preparing us for greater advancement on our ascension path. A pure white dragon of Orion has come to you today to advise you to examine what you know with enlightened eyes. Process any information you are working with through your right brain to discover how to use it for the highest good. The high frequency dragons from Orion will be with you to help you with this process. They will allow you to advance your spiritual growth and expand and expand your wings of light. I was going to say expand, like express and expand. <laughs> See, this is how we're going to be able to talk faster. <laughs> we're just going to condense <laughs> yeah, like a whole sentence into one symbol. It's going to be like, Arr! okay, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> new York, new orc, <laughs> a new language. Um, <laughs> get ready for it, people. And plants and animals and everything. Yeah. Actually, we'll be yeah, communicating more like them, the right way, <laughs> the right brain. Um, they will allow you to advance your spiritual growth and expand your wings of light. When you hold white in your aura, people trust and respect you. This card calls on you to speak your truth, act with honesty, and be totally honorable in all of your dealings. Yes, because this helps them connect connect other people connect with source okay through you that's why they trust you because they trust you as a transmitter of divine um essence grounding it and bringing it anchoring it in okay assisting others by doing that okay all right for the planet forever for all the for the trees for all of it the insects okay <clears throat> Since they me they mentioned unicorns and something, right? Let's do unicorns next then. Those were 
were kind of lengthy. Mo most of these are pretty short, so. And I don't really need to use the booklet. I mean, it's just nice how they sync up easily. All the cards till the s they're linked up, you know? <laughs> Link synced. Linked, synced, and dinked. Okay. Prosperity and strength already wanted to stand out. Yeah, as we see more prosperity in our lives, it gives us more um, encouragement to continue. It lets us know that we can do it. So it's it builds confidence, health, healthy confidence. So and trust. It helps to build trust. Trust in the universe. Trust in God. Trust in that the trust in the earth that this harmonic frequency of the heart that the earth is supports abundance and prosperity. There is no lack. Lack is a lie. Love is ever expanding, abundant. Like that holy grail of God's love that balance wanted to stick out. That's ever flowing. All you got to do is tap into it. Align with it. Jeez. So we have compassion on the top, support on the bottom. Okay, so... Let the compassion of others support you, okay? Rest on that, Let whoever needs that, okay? So these are short messages, so there are quite a few that came out um, for, but I, I felt like, let me plug in here, I felt like it was right. So interesting miracles because I was just I just said that with Mary mirror Michael have faith that your miracle is on its way your prayers have been answered surrender the how okay and uh, something just said aura okay so see the ra rainbow Aurora Aurora Borealis okay Borealis born we're born of light. Mir, Akle, Akle. Spectacle, Oracle, Akle, to see. It's a type of tree. So, Mira, Mary, Akle, to see mother, to know mother, to be one with mother. Okay, this is very important in tuning into your essence, your original, where your original core essence stripped away of all identity of all your past lives, all the, all the pains, all the peaks and valleys, okay, pains and glories. Um, so miracles, imagination, so that's very much right brain, okay. Believing in miracles, okay, imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. Very silvery white, too. Almost like blinding, like, okay, so goes very much with the Orion dragon. And then we have patience, okay, another high, we have forgiveness, another very high virtue of mother. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. <laughs> and see how she's glowing in the night, okay? So during the day we absorb light and at night we release the light. And sometimes I can look like a nocturnal emission. <laughs> Men and women both, okay? Um, and here's friendship. And look how fiery it is. Oh, and that's so funny, the squirrel. Um, and it's funny because my neighbor was like out on his patio and stuff. And there's a squirrel that's just like walking down the... I'm like, is there a rodent that's like going up there? I hope not. Or <laughs> didn't want like, to, to be a skunk or whatever. So I pulled the blinds down and 
or lower the blinds, whatever, because they can go up, down, up. And it's just like a squirrel just checking. We're just making eye contact. And they have those big, deep, dark eyes, moth or mother, black womb eyes like the moth. And so it was very interesting that I keep seeing these eyes and they're sitting on my dry erase board. So when I show you, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. So here again, so here's a little squirrel here with the same kind of eyes. Friendship, seek out, seek out your soul family, right? They'll, right now you're seeking them out. They're seeking you. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. Just seeing what else I, I see. Just like kind of glittery fireworks, fun bursts of energy, very bursty, red, orange, yellow, passionate, fiery, fun, but flirty and because because it's friendship. Okay, so, you know, forming alliances and friendships, finding your soul tribe, your soul family, your breath family, your spirit tribe, your bird tribe, <laughs> wolf tribe, whatever, butterfly tribe, um, Black Komodo Dragon um, tribe. <laughs> so friendships. Friendships are um, a good way to apply all this stuff we, we've been learning too. Okay, you don't have to, have to just be like, oh, my twin flame and union and, and um, then I'll be able to apply all, all the stuff I've been learning. No, apply it now through friendships with, with, with the animals, with nature. A gem oracles card. Do to do, jammies. The last one was the. Uh, oh wait, not the butterfly. Whatever. Oh, that was the card. I was gonna say that I thought that looked familiar. It was. It's the card that came out. Uh, miracles. That's the one on the box. So. So that's beautiful. Yes, beauty. The beauty of abundance. Um, I'm really starting to feel the cooperative energies. And maybe that's what it's like. Releasing the, the last remnants of fear. Because we're coming into very cooperative energies. And so we don't need to hold on to that survival mechanism anymore. Um the universe wants to cooperate with us. Okay, the angels are, it's like, it's like I just see a bunch of people with all their tools and building supplies and this and that, and they're just waiting for you to get to the site to like tell them all what to do and like get it going, get it building. Wow, look what came out. Aries, 17, Tiger's Eye, whoom! I'm saying like with this friendship card, okay, this is the Swadastana. This is the bridge pose. Rainbow bridge. Swadastana. The uh, Swadastana, the sacral chakra. That's your deity chakra. It also represents the moon. And you can usually see um, there will be a crescent moon shape on the bottom there. Okay, that's Archangel Gabriel. The dragon, freaking dragon... Aries, okay, um, that's the sign for Aries, 17, <laughs> the eyes, I was just talking about eyes, and the dark, okay, and then the stripes, also the stripes, I was just, <laughs> so this is like the black and the red of, okay, mother, the womb, the blood, okay, the passion of that, what, okay, and look at, this is Unikite, this is about birth, Okay. Root chakra, nine. We have natural agate, two, Venus. Okay, love, building of the heart on the top. Okay, cooperative. That's what I was just saying. Very much of the earth. That's earth. Um, I think this might be the seated lotus, lotus pose. I'm not sure. Um, 
so and then root chakra so root chakra heart chakra so we're manifesting from our heart now because of this clearing out of all the wounds all the past lives the soul integration and healing and purging releasing of all identities so that's from past life so might as well do it in this life too this is the preparation see how it's fire <laughs> Aries, how, that, that's the perfect hard card. <laughs> I almost was going to wait for the, because uh, I felt the fire in here waiting to burst out, but I was like, yeah, I better let you out now before you catch the room on fire, gem oracles. Um, okay, 17, I already know. I mean, pretty much you can just, see, it, it, it's amazing how everything lines up, all the cards. Um, because they, they don't contradict each other you know what I'm saying <laughs> that's us that's why we pull cards so um, oh so the, it's the upward bow or full wheel pose isn't that interesting full wheel catharsis completion the wheel card the karma the dharma <clears throat> the full circle okay back to the beginning birth death so it stretches the thorax and the lungs, that pose. The lungs, hello. The wings, the lungs. So fortune arrives in our lives, and it is not simply by chance, but from our, op from our optimistic and positive attitude. We are smiling and courageous, and we attract people and situations in harmony with our energies. Hello. Friendship card. We are never aggressive, but our personality is nevertheless strong because of our particular charisma. <laughs> Char, okay? Charisma, char, fire. So it helps to balance uh, tiger's eye. Red tiger's eye helps to balance our personality and make it harmonious. So ask yourself this uh, question here. What really makes us serene? Are we ourselves in the presence of others? What disturbs us about the behavior of others? So triggers, okay? Working through our triggers, it's okay. Let the emotions process through the amygdala, the Amy G. Dela, up into the higher regions where we can actually apply the knowledge and the wisdom and go forth and have progress and movement and not get stuck on ego triggers. Okay, but the emotion is there for a reason. You're supposed to feel... Okay, something's supposed to be draining. You're supposed to feel that draining. If something uh, gives you a boost of energy, you're supposed to feel that. If something makes your heart race and, and um, triggers you to be jealous, okay? You're supposed to, because you're not supposed to just keep feeling jealous and feel low vibration, low vibration. You're supposed to transcend this. So being seeing through those clear eyes yourself when you have a triggered response and you want to go, you know, uh, block someone on your social media or delete your whole Facebook or YouTube channel or whatever it is, okay? Just breathe. Count to 17 or 8. <laughs> or count to 1 and then count to 7. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so serenity, harmony, balance, strength, charisma. Red Tiger's Eye attracts to itself the benevolence of others and stimulates optimism and positive thoughts. It is indicated for those who have lost their appetite and are weak from an illness. So that's perfect, yeah. I, I, could, I could go for something. <laughs> sure, where are we going? Okay. Um, all right. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, let's do Spirit Oracle. Okay. Take a break. break a I can't talk, so we're just going to... Um, mm -hmm. We're just going to mm -hmm everything. Or uh-uh. It. <laughs> we're going to... We're going to uh-nut it. <laughs> we're going to do a half of each of one of those and just... You know. It's late in the day. We're, we're running out of stuff. We got what we got. What kind of sandwich can I make for you with what we got? So this is the card that came up for me when I did some personal um, 
a personal throw for myself. Um, I got Remembrance from this deck. And I got uh, Solar Portal from, we'll pull from that one next. Or maybe we'll do an Angel, yeah. Uh, after the Spirit one, let's do Angel. And then we'll do the Magical Realms or Mystical Realms. What's it called? Oh, Magical Dimensions. I love that deck. That's a fun one. So one card from the Spirit Oracle deck, please. A team of Benevolence. Always with us. Thank you. Oh. 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 Two came out. Divine Will. Okay, so interesting how the sperm and the egg has been standing out in a lot of different cards. Okay, this um, symbol has been coming up. And I just said that with... Um, There was one that was on the bottom that I just showed. Okay, so two came out. Instinct. So instinct, got divine will. Okay, God gave you your instinct, your gut, um, your solar plexus, okay? Your uh, uh, your manipura, okay? Manipura, manipulate things from a pure place, from the heart. That's how we manifest. That's how we can work with the energies. So, oh, and... Look at this here. See, like the two eyes, the two feminine. Okay, she's the you, she's the anchor. She's, okay, masculine. Arrow. And then this is also her, the two right here. So see how it goes? Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's just, it has to go masculine, feminine, masculine, feminine. That's just natural and spiritual law. Okay, just like how a battery works and everything. So stripes all that can't make stripes if you just do a white stripe on top of a white stripe on top of a and then a black stripe and then a five more white stripes and no, it, that's not really stripes then <laughs> so instinct let's read this one first and see how it's brown okay very gold brown of the earth okay that solar plexus but it's rooted it comes so it comes from divine will but it's rooted into the body into the earth the moon energy right here so this is the phases of the moon, okay, as it passes from crescent, okay, um, new moon, and then it gets full, okay, and then the last phase, so, and then it's no moon. So that just represents the full phases of the moon, okay? It kind of makes like an X, okay? Like the chromosome. So instincts, instincts, follow your natural instincts, you are making the current issue more complicated than it needs to be. Trust in the universe. Allow your intuition to guide you. You are always safe. A lot of nice sunlight in here. And um, Oh yeah, and I turned the light on above, but... Divine will. Your life is unfolding in accordance with the divine will of your soul. Trust. Let go of fear and apprehension. You are protected and eternally blessed. Have patience. All manifests in perfect timing. So manifest, letting go of fear. Um, so eternally blessed. You're protected. So this is saying you are always safe, and this one says you are protected. And trust. Okay, so there was another one that said trust. Another card. So very much blue, divine, masculine, father. Okay, all the sperm coming into the divine feminine, the egg, to, to assist you. Okay, so it's like... Your instinct, your gut, your solar plexus, your your man fire center, but see how it's a woman and the moon. Okay, so it's very much. I'm getting very much the divine feminine coming into her masculine power. Okay, and what that, excuse me, what that entails for the feminine though, is more of this healing the soul, um, coming into more of these higher virtues, forgiveness, patience. 
allowing for miracles to unfold. Um, so imagination, friendship, patience, miracles, forgiveness. Whew. And this is the masculine and feminine working together, that knowledge and that wisdom together. Oh, we ended with the journey on the top with the rainbow. And it looks like it has like stars, bright white light, like white fire, okay? Everywhere. We can't see that, but it's there, okay? That's the thing before thing, something comes into form, okay? When it comes out of the ether. So the, it, it, before we can see it, it's like these little sparklies of light. And Kuan Yin right at the bottom, okay? Divine Mother, Bodhisattva, Kuan Yin. Very much similar colors to a lot of blue. The back of this is also blue. And we have more high violet, high vibe violet, okay? But anchoring it into the earth, masculine, high vibrational masculine energy being anchored into mother, anchored into the earth. So this is what I mean, like Mother Mary opens, releases him, and then Mary Magdalene opens and receives him. Release, receive, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene. So now we're we're doing the Mary Magdalene, the receiving, okay? And then from there, you have this trinity, the third energy, the building, okay? The two-year. Um, didn't something have a two? Maybe it was a page number or something, okay? So, all right. Spirit Oracle. Can I show you? That was the deck there. Now we're going to do... Angels of Atlantis. So let's see who comes up. I'm sorry for the bumpy. Yeah, because I got this one, Willpower. So it was like Willpower, Solar Portal, Remembrance. Um, so yeah, the Divine Feminine is remembering her Divine Masculine. So the application of both those working together, how that, how that's being implemented, how that's being expressed. Okay, now it's the expression and impl implementation. Of the knowledge. The, the, okay, so this is what I'm saying. Like with the diagram that I showed... Um, with the word elect in the title, which stands for electric. Elohim of the gods, which we all are, so, um, unless you're not, <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> everything's from God, it's all divine. So, uh, let's see what angel wants to come visit. Can we have one angel card, please? What's the most important message that we need to know from the angels and which angel wants to show, grace us with their presence so we can know, <laughs> grow, glow. And mo, child mo. <laughs> Moo, mo, mother. Okay. Meditation. Medi, the middle. Medi, the Medi Jedi. <laughs> so there's Padmasambhava. Jophiel. It's just, and what we have, okay, so here's security. That came up already lately, okay, in a reading or what, uh, a client reading. Oh, and here's Michael with the I Am Presence. There's that gold, violet, and white. Very high vibrational. Okay, masculine, feminine, application, implement, implementation. I'm going to stop saying that word now. So I Am Presence and security. Again, so the being safe. You're protected. Just be in your I Am Presence, okay? 
Now it's coming into the power of that. More than like the healing. That's why I was kind of having like some panic. Um, and it, it's a it's a cyclical thing. The moon and my body and all that. But you know, it can start making your mind freak out a little bit when your body's okay. It's you know just like I I've, we all know that everything is interdependent. Okay, so um, and I was tossing and turning all night long. I kept waking up my mind saying things and so and I wasn't even writing it down I'm like it's too much it'll integrate whatever I need to know it'll come back up I'm like I'm not writing this down team okay I'm trying to sleep I'm tired so yeah some of you might not have been been able to sleep last night because usually the moon energies a few days before I really start feeling them heavy and um so, yeah, and then if it's the cycle time, your hips can hurt and tossing and turning because of just being uncomfortable. But there was just a lot coming in in the drink, like a lot of like verbal stuff, okay? Um, so, Jophiel, I think she is the cause, or well, Jophiel, I, I haven't researched that angel as much. I, I focus a lot on the, um, the four archangels. So now that I'm getting to know them so well, I can branch out a little bit more. <laughs> oh, G-H-I-G-A. Yeah, okay. Come on. Come on, alphabetical order. <laughs> what? There we go. Oh, the, yes, 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 yes. That's right. The Holy Liberator. You're free when you're balanced and in your heart. So Joe feels very much connected with Divine Mother, um, these cards, because there's joy, forgiveness, and liberation, and meditation. Finding stillness in detachment helps us toward the angelic freedom evoked by meditation. Joe Fiel provides us with his yellow ray to soar with. All we need to do is quieten... I hate it when they say quieten... Quiet our mind. I know. Okay. All we need to do is quiet our mind. Then we may hear the angels sing. So at dawn and at sunset, practice meditation. Breathe deeply. Listen intently through a relaxed state to the divine Om. Yes, it's time to listen to Mother more. And then be still to hear the music of the angelic kingdoms. This will bring your own oracular messages. That's right. You don't have to watch other people's videos and take their message. You can get your own. It'll be miraculous oraculars <laughs> just for you. That's why it's going to be so miraculous because they're specifically does just for you. You can't fake the you you can't fake the funk <laughs> to quote my brother. You can't fake the funk to uh. To, to to experience the magic. You're either experiencing the magic or you're not. And that only comes from being in your heart. You can't do it through ego. You can't do it any other way but being in the heart. If you're outside of the heart, you're SOL. So this will bring <laughs> your own oracular messages. Please be aware of your solitude, stillness, and silence. That's right. So... At dusk and dawn, so when mother, the evening, okay? The stillness, when things are, when you can listen to your heart, when you can listen to the universe more, when you can tune into that, okay? So meditation in the evening, early in the morning, um, you know, it's just, that's when we do that because we connect, we go deep within, we go into the womb. So doing it in the evening time, it makes sense, Um better way to connect with mother that way which is that's what we're doing with meditation we're getting in the stillness and the silence um getting in tune with our core before we were ever expressed so tuning into mother is how we do that the stillness and the silence that's what i'm all about that's what i always say just get in the stillness and silence okay and christians would say listen to that small quiet voice <laughs> so and new agers would say 
you know, your instinct, your gut, your intuition. <laughs> um, instinct is more in the body, though, connected to the earth, okay? That fire. So that divine will that's inside of you that has penetrated you, okay? You have access to. So let's do a resonance oracle. What are we at? An hour? Okay. Do it as long, however long it takes to flow out of me <laughs> and feel complete. So flow out of this vessel. Me, my, I. As long as it's the E Y E. Alrighty. <sighs> okay. Can you see the cards here? Everybody. Alrighty. Alrighty, up tidies. <laughs> You'd rather be uptight than down loose. <laughs> High vibration. It's tight. Oh. Hmm. Eclipse and musical movement wanted to turn around. So that passionate, fiery, move your body. Mirror of the self's on the bottom. Mystic dreaming on the top. So really anchoring in, okay, what flipped over here? Creation. I want you guys to shoot it out for me, though. Give me one. So creation, divine will. Um, so really expressing all that spiritual stuff. <laughs> we'll just call it stuff. Um, spiritual etheric plasma <laughs> into the tangible plasma. So how do we do that? We use our body, our Merkaba, our energy field, our physical, the, our instrument, oh, the musical movement, yeah. Our instrument as our body. We can make music with our own body. We don't even need to use, I mean, whistling, okay? Um, you could stomp your feet and create a sound. Using your own body, we can make music. So very much anchoring all this through, see, okay. Sensual being, this is what I'm saying. So it's really... Using all the senses, being in touch with the body, really feeling everything through the body, anchoring through the body, cleansing the body, transmuting through the body. Okay, it, it's, it's not so much this mental stuff anymore. Okay, we need to master that so that we can really get into the body and master the body. Okay, so mental, emotional... Okay, get that in check, okay, so that it, it doesn't affect the body and create illness and dis-ease and get us out of balance mentally. Then it affects our emotions, and then our emotions we want to emotionally eat or emotionally over-exercise, whatever. And then we fatigue, we can cause lactic acid, dam buildups. In our, okay, so either way, it's about balance. But it's very much, okay, in the body, the senses, the five senses... Blessings on the top, yes or no on the bottom. So what I'm getting from this is like, yes or no, receive the blessings or not. Do you want to be balanced in the center? Oops, where all the blessings are being received. Okay. High vibe lotus enlightenment. So that fuchsia or violet. So be in your I am presence. Know that you're protected. Receive your blessings. Um, express yourself, use your body, move your body, um, receive through the body, express through the body. This is our tool. This is our instrument. So sensual being and very much, very fiery. Okay. So friendship. Okay. I feel like a lot of divine masculine and feminine are really going to, um, 
a lot of passion will be ignited through friendships, okay? Just pl platonic, uh, Pluto with the unikite, okay? Platonic friendships, okay? It really going to inspire creativity, these higher virtues. Um, you know, like I said, it's not saving all these, all this for your twin flame. If that's not what it's about. This is all for you. This is all for the universe, everyone. So just decide that you're going to get in the center where the blessings are being received. Yes or no, it's up to you. You choose. Receive the blessings or not. You choose. It's up to you. Oh, and Garden of Beauty right behind blessings. So the blessings of the garden is just... Yeah, going deep within is where it, that truly is. <laughs> Ancestral legacy. <laughs> Earthbound cousins, they contain the ancestral legacy. Simplicity was the next card, so we'll leave that there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty simple. You choose. Okay? Your essential being. Use your senses to guide you, not be triggered. Okay, remember, this has... Okay, triggers is one of the things. So, let these interactions with people grow you. Okay, instead of trigger you. It's to get you to be more cooperative with your body. More cooper cooperative with others. The earth, your instincts, your divine will. Okay, your higher virtues. Cooperate with that wisdom that you have. Okay, do something with it. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's do a shamanic healing card. shamanic healing oracle card please i was like was there another oh yeah the butterflies had the gilded edge too i'm liking the gold these are slippery guys i like it though it makes it e easy to shuffle but then sometimes a lot can come flying out one card please from the shamanic healing oracle deck what is the most important message that Team Benevolence has for the collective for this full moon. I almost was going to say new moon, but it's like being born, reborn kind of a um, but rebirth as in like transcending all by collapsing all. Oh. Omens. That looks like a lunar hawk, okay, because it's lunar, but it looks like a hawk. Okay, lunar hawk is already coming in, holy moly, because that was an omen, okay, from another card, and here it is right here. I wouldn't even have known that, but now this card has a different meaning. I don't know if I've ever even gotten this card. Maybe on the bottom, I don't know. So that reduces to four. So see how... There's the sun and the moon and the horizon. Is that hawk? I see the stripes, okay. Masculine and feminine union, balance, manifesting power. Let's just see what the card says. But look what we have right here on the bottom. There's the black and the white bird, okay? See that high vibe purple sky? That's what's going to happen when we unite. Duality, 26, reduces to 8. Divine timing on the top. Didn't something, another card say divine timing, okay? Thirty. that reduces to 3. 
So, let's just see what this card, usually I don't use this booklet. It's a nice little booklet though. It has color illustrations. Oh, right to it, look at that. So on page 92 and 93, 11 and 12. Hawks are messengers. This majestic bird, this majestic bird flies high and reaches the realms of the spirit. They bring back messages from both the seen and unseen. <coughs> Excuse me. From both the seen and unseen. Yes. The white fire and the black fire. Yes, people. Yes, children of God. <laughs> Drawing this card speaks of focus and intuition. Okay, instinct. Drawing this card speaks of... Okay, uh, pay attention to the coincidences in your life right now. Or synchronic synchronicities. Yeah, incidences that coincide. Focus on where you want to go. How high do you want to fly? So, right, you decide. When you see a hawk, someone is trying to get your attention. Pay attention. To serendipity in your life. Be glad for this is a reminder that you are living in the flow of energy. Things will soon shift for you. Do, do, do. That's beautiful. Oh my. So meditate and figure out what you can do with your body and these this new these new tools and and how you can transmit it using the body using your speech using your movement using your thoughts okay take one from here so that's the one that came up for me, solar, yeah, portal, okay. Yeah, destiny was on the top. Or no, two came out, that's right. Um, oneness was on the bottom, okay, and this was divine masculine. So that's what I'm saying, like, um, the divine feminine, divine masculine coming into this oneness, destiny on the top, and oneness was on the bottom, and I got... Um, Solar portal and breakthrough. Okay. So and I was <laughs> I was definitely feeling that, especially yesterday. <laughs> so it's interesting with the last moon was it full moon or new moon? I can't remember, but I was I remember one reading I was saying how it, it felt like it was bringing in divine feminine energy for the masculine okay now it feels like it's divine masculine energy coming in for the feminine so we're making these uh, these adjustments it's like that little white dot the yin kuan yin okay the, that little white dot that we have to be anchored in we have to implement that we have to make sure that that's there and we're anchored in that and then the masculine the white the yang the white paisley <laughs> has to be anchored in that little black dot. But, okay, so that's what we're doing is the that little anchor, that dot, so that we're, like, focused and have direction and are actually, like, in tune with ourselves, okay? Let me turn this that way a little bit. So we're doing the meditation to go deep within and be in tune with ourselves. Discovering... All this past life stuff and transcending it, collapsing duality, identity, polar, uh, polarization of, you know, oppositional conditioning. It's all done by being in the heart, being balanced in the heart. And guidance comes from getting in the stillness and silence. So you can go deep within to your heart, your core, <laughs> your apple core, where those arsenic seeds are, <laughs> the poison, the medicine. <laughs> can we have one card from the magical dimensions? Who's that? I don't want to misquote. Oh, I said it right. 
Magical Dimensions. One looks like a peppermint candy. I keep seeing them like I'm getting hungry. <laughs> So what one wants to visit? What's the most important message from this deck that our benevolent team would like to share with us? Present us with a card, please. A message that you'd like me to transmit to everyone who chooses to receive it. One card, please. There we go. Aha! Couldn't have been better. Manifestation. Hello. Manifestation station. Um, just pulled up. The train just pulled up. Manifestation station. Ding, ding. Okay, card 29, which reduces to 11. Prosperity, fortune, pure intention. Right, the highest vibration, the purest intention. That's what makes sustainable manifestations. Purest intention, highest vibration. That means you're manifesting from the heart. Those are the ones that are sustainable. Those are the ones that are supported by the harmonic resonance frequency of the earth and divine will. Liberation. Okay, liberation was the, on one of these cards. Okay, I think one of the unicorn cards. So there's liberation again. Big moon. Okay. Oh, and this was the one that was catching my attention. It's on the top. I look at it, it's a heart. Okay, so it's interesting. I was wearing a matching outfit with my son, uh, unbeknownst to me. Gray long sleeve with black pants, but then I had a green tank top and pink socks. So green is a heart chakra, and pink is the color of unconditional love. But doesn't it look like a nice, yummy peppermint candy? But just look at how beautiful the pink and green. Ah. Oh. So that's the heart portal, receptivity, generosity, mistrusting. Okay, so trust was good. So by being more honest with yourself, you'll be more honest with others. You'll trust yourself more, trust others more. That will be reflected back to you. So let's read this card. See what magical messages are contained within. So manifestation. Wow. Hello. I mean, this is the season that we're in. This is the season in which we find ourselves. I opened right up to sanctuary and solar portal. Sanctuary that looks like a rock band or something like they're just gonna start out with some awesome elven rock music or something, right? Would you even call it rock? I don't know. Um, some cards out oh, 29. Okay, so. So the image is connected with the golden bronze color, ra color ray. The companion crystal, no way, is tiger's eye. Where is it? Right here. Not red tiger's eye, but tiger's eye. That's the companion crystal. Hello. Oh my gosh. I just love how the cards all... See how they're all in alignment? <laughs> so citrine and tiger's eye. And this looks... This is very much the color of citrine. Joe Field, the yellow, the sun. Um... And then goldenrod is the companion essential oil. And this is on page 56, which reduces to 11. Same as the card number 29. 1111, 11. hello. Biscuits with honey. The celestial interpretation. Manifestation resonates to the power of prosperity and abundance. Thriving with positive fortune. See, fortune, that came up in another card, right? and magical creation, this sacred ray empowers and reattunes the soul to its internal and external natural state of richness and magnificence. When the soul manifests abundance based upon pure intentions, greatness is born. Poverty consciousness is erased and lasting inner fulfillment is delivered. Delivery, you're born, you just got delivered. 
<laughs> so your ability to manifest is golden. Money flows easily and freely into your life. All that is asked of you is to keep your intentions clear and focus on higher frequency, higher frequencies of prosperity. Abundance can also be measured inward, inwardly, which inevitably, inevitably will overflow from the inside out, thus manifesting a waterfall of outer abundance. Waterfall. That's my word. It's our word. Remember this! Exclamation point. You also need to engage in manifestation exercises on a constant basis. Or has this perhaps been neglected lately? So that's what I'm saying. Like, see how it's very much tangible what he's manifesting. Okay. Some beautiful flowers. Um, you know, some, some free time out in nature. Okay. It's a sensual being. The body. So we're using our body. That's our tool. That's how we manifest. Using the word. Using our energies. What else are we, what else are we doing? <laughs> um, you know, sweating and purifying the body, getting into the heart, preparing for all this manifesting. Okay. So omens. Follow the signs. Follow your guidance. Follow your gut. Follow your divine will inside you it's in your heart okay so wait what card was that oh yeah <laughs> manifesting <laughs> manifestation okay manifestation station time to manifest so let's do a fairy forest I love oracle readings. I like tarot too, and it's specific for when people want specific questions. But I really prefer just do the open oracle. Just let our team of benevolence guide it all. So. Okay. So one card from the Fairy Forest Oracle deck, please. What's the most important message that we need to know? Please, Team Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blue, Archangel Michael, blue. Wants to keep coming out. So the blue represents the divine masculine, the pure divine. The prepared, pure, divine masculine. And the red is the pure, divine, feminine. The fire, the flow, the fairy, the fae, the feminine, feline, ferris, rich, magnetic, dark, mater. Oh, that's too many. The dreamer was on the top, though, and there was a card that said dream, dreaming, dreamer, something. Mystic dreaming. Yeah, oh, yeah, from the. Uh... Ooh, the life bringer. Let's see if that pops out. The life bringer, the sweet water. So the, the, the one who blesses. Uh your manifestations if they're from the heart highest vibration purest intention those are the manifestations that are sustainable and supported it's like like the intentions of like the pyramids and stuff versus like modern day building of like houses and stuff <laughs> the longest lasting ones the Dreamer and Issa. Let's just have one, please. If we see the Dreamer again, we'll take that. Issa keeps showing up, so... That might be an important...
One card, please, from the Fairy Oracle deck. One card, please, team. I don't want to shuffle too long. But we only want one card because we want to wrap this up. Well, where'd my arrow go? There we are. Okay. One fairy oracle card, please. Please, team, benevolence. Give us one card, please. It's the most important message you need us to know from this deck. Please give us one card. wide deck so I usually don't shuffle cards like this but um, it's the last one so there we go because when they're long sometimes and they're sticky like this oh before the gathering look another was there another 29 the one I just did right before this was 29 okay reduces to 11 and that was also on page 56 which was another 11 and so we have Astrid okay which is Aster which is what I was saying on the like these little asters, little stars, okay, ready to, waiting to be born. That's the unseen, the white fire before it comes into form. Those little, like these little sparklies, okay. Asters. Ooh, passion was right behind that. Ooh, fiery yumminess. Um, so Astrid love fire sensuality fertility okay sensual being i just because astrid made me pull this and then look what's behind it <laughs> passion okay red tiger's eye see this is the divine feminine ferocious fiery fe feline okay that's coming in <clears throat> lyrin um yeah, maybe that's being activated now. Okay, so it's this divine masculine energy um, that really I feel like is coming in for the divine feminine. I, I felt like the divine masculine needed to anchor divine feminine energy. Now the divine feminine needs to anchor masculine energy. And then, okay, the mirroring. Then you unify all that work that you did, okay, with Twin Flames. So this is before the gathering. Hello, I was just talking about the preparation work. <laughs> so that said the golden and bronze or golden and bronze, right? Colorway for the, the manifestation card. That was also number 11. Okay. And look at her hair. It's totally that color. Celebration, anticipation, event. Oh, the event. Oh, really? Oh, on the top, the wizard. Rune, king, wise one, counselor. And there was a rune on the tree card that came out. And look at that's a tree being, okay? Runes. Rune, king. Yeah, runic. Rune, king, it says. So the runic king. There's like mushrooms. It looks like in a trinity, right where his third eye is. The elven ears. And see again, like this cracking. Um, I saw that in another card. I think the sacred. Well, I can't remember which one, but it was the divine feminine. But her skin was like cracking, and. It's like shedding all identity and just expressing your true divine essence. Okay, so this third eye, seeing yourself clearly. See all the fire that's like this crown around his head? So it's like coming alive. Okay, it looks like it's coming alive. 
the magic coming alive. 15, which is a 555. Yes, wise one. So wisdom, that's the divine feminine, right? And this is a tree. Okay, represents a tree deva. It's coming alive. The fire of the feminine is coming alive. There's the bottom. That's the top. Okay. Celebration, anticip anticipation of the event. Oh, oh, there's no crash landing. Oh my gosh, I opened right up to it. Wow. And that's on page 92, another 11. Okay, both of these cards reduced to 11 and they, from different decks, okay, both on a page that reduces to 11 and they're right after each other 11 11 11 11 <laughs> that's eight ones so for you dear one a celebration is coming a time to acknowledge the mark the markings and passing that's interesting because um mars aries and then i um got a message from my dad today okay so um, my phone's on silent, so, you know, the faceplate lights up when you get a voicemail or something, and it was right at 1.44 p.m. in the afternoon. <laughs> 144,000. And so, anyway, markings. So, I was like, makings or markings? I'm like, that's my dad's name, Mark, so. A time to acknowledge the markings and passing of the great turns of the wheel. And didn't wheel something come up here? Okay. Said wheel. I think on the tree, maybe, tree card maybe. <clears throat> and for you to gather together with friends, friendship, relatives, and significant beings, <laughs> and ask them to unite in a common cause of joy, Jophiel, for what has been achieved. It is time to look forward, to anticipate, and to prepare for this event may even be taking place simply on an energetic level. All, as all the beings who have long wished for your well-being now gather together to applaud the place where you are right now. Oh, yeah, I do feel like the angels are clapping and singing and, and joyous when they see us keep chugging on, truck, trucking on, chugging along, choo-choo train, chugging along. <gasps> Oh, keep on trucking. Okay. Or sedanning or, um, you know, unicycling. This will be coming for you and it is, this will be coming for you and it is in the future. So this card is a great omen. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, of course, that word I go. So this card is a great omen of good to come for you. It is time for you to put on your finest garments. Oh my gosh. I, I'm going to cry. One of the fairy cards was for a client, I believe. It was on the top or the bottom. I don't think it was the one that came out. But I was like, oh, and this looks like the garment I saw myself in when I was on Archangel Gabriel's lap. And he was just like a statue. Didn't blink or anything. Uh, but I remember looking, looking down and it was the perfect size of my wrist. Like exactly like how this bracelet would fit. Just perfect tailor-made. And I remember the garment, the headdress was like, kind of like hair, like long like, it was all white, okay, long and cut straight across, and the bangs were kind of like the, it was like bangs and long hair, but it was made out of cloth, right? And then I, this is an ancient headdress, okay? So it was all white, except for I remember seeing at some point somewhere on the garment or as I was wearing it or reflection when you remotely view yourself in a dream, but at some point I remember seeing specifically, it was all white, and I remember... The, um, the way it felt on me and everything, like it was custom made. And I was also looked down at my wrist. It was the exact perfect everything. It had scarlet and uh, violet 
and I believe gold, but I definitely remember the scarlet and violet on the white. And I think there was some gold on there too, which was exactly what was on this fairy card, okay? So when it says garments, I just... Oh. Take the very best goblets and chalices from their dusty hiding places and raise a glass of bubbling fairy energy to the wonders of life. It may be your birthday. It is. We're reborn. Oh, because that's what the will of the divine is to restore all. It may be your birthday or another occasion such as a graduation. <laughs> Congratulations, initiates. The acknowledgement of an accomplishment or the completion of a test. Yes, where is the, what I get on my final? Where we all go up to the wall when it's all, all on the list and all the grades. <laughs> it goes by your class ID number or whatever. <laughs> so no one sees what a loser you are or hate you for getting A pluses, whatever. Just kidding. Polarity, duality. Okay, so whatever it may be, it is essential to mark the impending time with joy, applause, and an expression of bounty. Prepare, be ready, and enjoy, dear one. You deserve all that this exciting and exhilarating occasion heralds, for after the effort comes the reward. Soon it will be yours. <laughs> The artwork is Chrysella at the ball. I was going to say bell. At the ball. Chrysella, like Chrysos. The golden. See the golden coppery. Oh, beautiful. Very much earth and tree. Green, brown. Very earthy. Oh, wow. That's the perfect one to end it on, too. Okay, I love you all. Peace be upon you all, and blessings to each and every one. Happy moon reading. <laughs> Till next time, stay strong, y'all.